All right, we are back to the game, boys. Um, Beyond the Summit Southeast Asia Season 4. The game, the first match of the tournament, Mineski from Philippines versus Mongols from Mongolia in best of three series. This is game number two, guys, and current score is quite surprised. Team Mongol 1, Mineski 0. You hear me, Cyclops, as your caster. It's gonna be an awesome uh, second game for sure since Minesi got no <laughs> no room for it. mistake by Minesi first ban Lich that is quite respect ban for team Mongols I think Mongols studied Minesi very well watching replays um, Ten seconds and look at that first ban Earth Spirit Five seconds remaining. Oh, very annoying heroes. Reserve time. Seems like Mineski. It's all about a draft. They, they, they need to draft better this game for you by Mineski. Now they are stuck at the second ban. They spend quite much time. They kind of hesitate what to ban next. They might have to ban Outworld Devourer. Or, or if not, they're just going to pick it for themselves. Just don't give the Mongols Outworld Devourer. They are so good with that hero. Radiant team ban. Dire team pick. Radiant oh, team pick. That's what I'm talking about. Now this time, first hero from team Gigabyte Minesi is of Alpha Devourer. I think it's something that team Mongols <laughs> expected because they they just give away Alpha Devourer just like pick. that. You know. Doom and IO first two fake from the Mongols. Another IO game once again. Proxy is very good wisp player for the Mongols. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Beastmaster again for Bark. Last game Beastmaster was... It wasn't a good Beastmaster last game for Bark Arena. It might be Ten better because they, they have Outward Devourer as a mid laner this game for Gigabyte Mineski. I'm sorry, Mineski Sports Park. Um... I think their contract with Gigabyte already expired. That's why. That's why there's no Gigabyte in their name tag Radiant anymore. Team back. Dire Team Bad. Dead Prophet. Uh, I'm sorry, Prophet. It's not a meme, I just, you know, Radiant I. Radiant Team Ban. Dead Prophet. Block. Radiant Team Ban. Mabel pick. and the Witch Doctor. And an Enchantress, third pick Dire from the Mongols. Pick. Nice team the Mongols turned to pick an Enchantress. You know, last answer. game it was it was Jesse Wash. Enchantress has pick. had zero impact in the game. He can't do anything in that game at all. He cannot push. He can't even gank with the creeps. All he can do is just using nature attendance and walking around and try to buy some times for his teammate before he died. 
But in this game, it's going to be a Jesse Bash body hunter. Ten seconds remaining. Now this one will be hard Five for the Mongols, I think. Dealing with that party hunter will be very annoying. Lion? lion? Team pick. What do you mean, lion? Um, I don't get it. In these three heroes, Enchantress, Lion, and Ayo, I think it might be a lion core heroes right here by the Mongol. Wow. Really? Because Enchantress is gonna farm in NC. Ten seconds remaining. So many support heroes in, in the Mongol side in this game. I don't Five know what they are thinking. Reserve time. Oh. Say hi to the guys on in the chat room. Thank you so much for tuning in. But this is actually the first match of our Beyond the Summit Southeast Asia Season 4 and I'm very excited that our BTS Series C is back again, guys. Running out of time Disruptor. for Disruptor, the second support of Team Minesky. Vector Bannet. So this last pick from Team Mongols must be some damage dealer. Radiant team pick. Phantom Lancer bad. I don't get it. You know they they had they had three supporter heroes right here for the Mongols. So I think it could be Lion Core, maybe Lion Ten Myth or something. You know, we, we haven't seen the Lion Core heroes for a long time already. Five like years, remaining. two or three years. Reserve time. Or maybe Enchantress Core. Enchantress Myth. Phantom Assassin. Phantom Assassin. Dying Jesus team. Christ, what is this pick from Team Mongols? Wow. <laughs> is this some kind of experiment or something? They pick these heroes against one of the strongest team in Southeast Asia, Minesi Sports 5. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Oh. All right, guys. Wait. First, I gotta change the overlays, and now finally we are in game two. Mongols versus Minetsky. One no. Mongols leading. Just gonna do some quick intro here. Uh, for Team Mongols, so it's gonna be a lion support. Aryan Bowler or Lion, um, Proxy on Io, Masquerade on Doom, and yeah, a disconnected guy that Retribution on Enchantress Mid, Sanye on Phantom Sassane from Nessie in the Dire Side, ranging for Tatum Alpha Devourer. Bocorino on the Beastmaster, Jesse Rash on Bounty Hunter, Jules on Disruptor, and Ben Hur on Gyrocopter. My goodness, Enchantress Mid. Aryan Bowler. Oh. No. A casual high. It's kind of troll, this guy, Aryan Bowler. He, he saw Disruptor and he, then he just say hi. It might be a big team fight right from the start here. I think he... 
it's gonna be Enchantress farming bottom lane retribution and it's PA made by Sanke. Yes, he wears. Thirty oh. seconds to battle. Observer wards right here. They didn't see it or something. <laughs> it's an observer wards here, but uh, but they didn't deny. Or they might give it to Io. They didn't see the observer ward, and that could be their mistake because because think me by me they still have. Um, a vision on them. Begins. Hey, why you? Why nobody hit the ward over there? Oh, a nice earth spike. And yep. Okay, so the bottom body rune belongs to Enchantress. In the middle lane is Phantom the Saint versus uh, Raging Potato. Ben Thompson is just gonna spam his first skill to last hit in this lane, I think. Where is he going? Going bottom? Maybe some lane switching right here. Retribution gonna go mid or something? Yeah, it seems like Phantom is going back to the bottom lane. That's not good. That's not good for, for Team Mongols. Lane switching will be... Uh, will waste a lot of time for them. Let's see where is around here. So middle lane retribution enchantress with this uh, raging potato. Gonna max is untouchable. Get harassed by Jesse Wedge. Now it's a lot easier for PA to, to farming in this lane against that uh, beast master. Doom is farming in NC, he cannot stay in the lane against the gyrocopter and the disruptor. Nothing much. Illusion. In early game for sure because you know they just are trying to farm first make sure that the core heroes get item they need Bountiful. retribution 400 gold already for retribution you might go for a first item bottle maybe <laughs> EA Dante Eight last hit. Not a good last hit this game for Sanke, you know, compared to that Gyrocopter already got 16. And you placing Sentry Ward to block the creep camp here by Jesse Wedge. Can't have it. Let us to the mid lane just to heal retribution up with a bottle of Io. Early game is quite uh, will be very quiet. Sanke, when comes the scene. Well the answer just was killed by Rocha, it's just the fast way to go back to the base. Gyrocopter having a very good time farming right here, leading on a creep stat with 23 last hit. But I don't think late in late game Gyrocopter can fight PA. Someone TP down is gonna be a body hunter, they might try to do something here with the Sun, okay? Start it off with, um, with Jinara. I don't think they can kill because Lion is around here. Well, in this 
if it, oh look at that get to that do they have any detection yes they have sentry might be the first blood come on phantoms are same with the first blood and he's just gonna pick up the body rune right after that and another good early game for team mongo you know And it was Jesse Wash once again who lost the first blood to Team Mongols. Meanwhile, Disruptor got a kill on top lane. Sorry, I missed the action over there, but take a look at this one first. This is gonna dive in. Sanke with level one, level one blur. He's just gonna dive in with a heal from that wish. He could do it. One more stifling dagger. Come on, one more stifling. Is he gonna jump in? Nope. He's on cooldown. He's waiting to throw another dagger on Volcarino. That's gonna slow him down. He's gonna get shot, blink away, and it's gonna be Proxy in the in state who died here. Time K just DP back to the base. Very nice how to gank this one by Mineski, but um, like this, it will be space created for Doom on top. Kinda of boring early game to be honest. Um, let's take a look at the craft. The craft still on Mineski side, both golden experience, but it's go back up a little bit to Team Mongo. I think late game would be very hard. Oh, dropping an ultimate, dealing decent damage, but it's just not enough to kill anyone of Team Mongo. Uh, Glimpse him back, very short glimpse right there. No more ultimate. The tower is shooting. That Raging Potato down, Bill hit away on Raging Potato, is he gonna make it? It Peters, what is, he was out of range already. A miscalculation by the Outworld Devourer, he thought he could kill someone. Dropping his ultimate, insanity eclipse like that. But... Free farming, Phantom Sassine on the bottom lane. This is not good. You know, even though you are ahead of in, in graph in terms of golden experience, uh, but if you let that PA farming so free, now you're losing mid lane as well. Barcarino TP down, trying to get something out of fight, but no, they can. It was too late. Space created for Sanke. This, this is not good for Minesi at all. You know, they, they can't even save the mid laner, and they. They waste their time, TP down, need to walk back like that. Sanke already down. got his bow triad. Doom level 4. Sanke gonna get caught. You know, start my side now with Astro Christmas. Barcarino, Primal Roar is ready. Gonna roar. Sanke, finally a roar. Gonna blink away, is he gonna make it? Nope, blink to the proxy. They both might go down right there. A double kill for Raging Potato, nice right back this one by kill by PSD. Retribution Enchantress mid lane. Impetus. And from the thing with a ward, I think he he need to put his observer ward around here to see whenever someone TP down trying to gank him. Uh, oh look at that, Falcarino, quite tanky. I don't think he can kill the Falcarino though. Now coming into the scene, Rating Potato, another kill on the PA. Yeah, it's gonna be Arian Bowler or two dominating. Double kill two times in a row for our um, rating potato. That is very big lead for Gigabyte BDSD. Now I kind of wonder why Mongols picked this Radiant this enchantress for the mid lane. They got a chance to pick something like the Queen of Pain, Wiper, whatever. Radiant they got this enchantress as a mid lane. Bounty Hunter still level 4, it almost killed the Korea, just one hit away, the Korea was slow and that's another kill by Jesse Wedge. 
Wow, actually, this is his favorite hero right here for Jesse Ware, the Bounty Hunter, but now he's done. Gonna... Nice kill and nice from the dust no by proxy. Very uh, well prepared. I think this guy needs to calm down. Phantom is he Just need to farm first. Maybe get some basic items like a drum or ring of Aquila to increase his HP. Diving in again, Bakarino dropping low. Be careful. Blinking slow on Bakarino. Ready to blink in again, I think. A fader to give the uh, increase on movement speed. Bakarino, that's no choice but to fight. Bakarino gonna go down in Peter's easiest kill of his life. Not bad, not bad. Me. Pick up the Baryon. What about our Chirocopter? Our Chirocopter is on his way to a dual aura, ring of Aquila and a drum. Setting up an ultimate, but he did use the grip. What is that ultimate for? Uh? Dude, make a mistake and he might go down right here. Masquerade gonna go down, but he will kill you first for sure. One hit away, slash Jules down, and they lost Ben Hur as well. It's two down, but he killed by Minesky. What a big mistake over there. Damn. <laughs> Well, he he's setting up his ultimate right here, right? Uh, the Catholic field, Static Storm. But it turns out that Doom ran out of the glimpse. Uh, he, he doesn't have return, so he cannot glimpse that Doom back to his ultimate. And then he got Doom. Man, they got they, they got to calm down. It seems like uh, Mineski made a lot of mistakes today, and guys, keep in mind that this tournament is a knockout tournament. If you lose the best of three, then you are out of tournament. There is no loser bracket. There is no room for mistake at all for Team Kicker by Mineski. They got a very good early game, but now they are starting to make a mistake. Radiance top tower is under attack. And uh, that is Dyer's a tower. The retribution is getting bigger and bigger. Dyer's bottom tower is under He's attack. gonna get a drum. Radiance and top then tower maybe an agony scepter. He can buy Mines, he got a top tower. They might looking for a fight right here. Doom. No doom. 25 seconds left for the cooldown. Attract on enchantment. They saw the target. Grim back. Now it seems like enchantment is in the middle of the team fight. Dropping a call down. Hit that doom. Is this, is this enough to kill a doom? Yes, they've got that doom. The first one who goes out, they need to retreat against a lion. Dropping so low, but he was killed by Ios. But they cannot run away from Senator Eclipse. Phil hit the way. Gigabyte Mineshi doing very good in this team fight. A bad positioning by Team Mongol. They lost four heroes in this team fight. The first ten kills go to Team Gigabyte Mineshi. Sorry, it's Team Mineshi. Radiance top tower is under attack. Phantom Lancer, like I said, he's just gonna go from uh, for some basic item first, something like drum. But he, he's a, he's a lone survivor from uh, just now. And once he got a drum, he got BKB, and then it should be better for him. To the Roshan pit, that was very early Roshan for Minesi. Uh, consider their heroes. Top power trade. Mongol's gonna get the top power and let that. I kinda like this Observer Ward spot by Minesi. This one, this one, and this one. I will devour it. Pick up that Aegis remodel. He's on his way to a rod of Aethos. Actually, Albert Devourer is farming faster than, than uh, Team Mongols Albert Devourer last game. Rating potato POD. 
Try not to the body rune, who can I get it first? Raging Potato got it. Enchantress. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Top tower is under the attack. level 8 this track will be very crucial on team fight. Just looking to glimpse someone back. Nancy knows that they are hey, they got an agent, they have a gyrocopter, so it's gonna push in. The item choice of gyrocopter uh, is quite interesting. He didn't go for something tiny, but look at that an earth spike and a finger. A very nice save by Outworld Devourer as for imprisonment. Lion, gonna be the next one to go down. Roar, Primal War, Retribution, but he's still alive in nature. So Kenan dropping Exodus instead of the Eclipse Triple Kill for Raging Potato. The last one who goes down, uh, uh, the last one is still here is Sanke. Now it's a very good chance for Minashi to take down the mid -rack. Gonna be make track. What about the trap? I don't know, man. <laughs> Giving away, I will devour to to Gigabyte Mineski. They got a chance to ban an OD for Team Mongols, but they kinda, you know, you know, I I I won the first game. You know, they they have too much confidence, so they 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 give OD to Team Gigabyte Mineski, then they and they have Enchantress to fight OD. Anyway, the game is not over yet. They only lost mid draft. But if you take a look at the graph, you see that it's dropping down. If you go by Mineski's side, uh, Radiance bottom the graph is under attack. dropping down like a gas price. A big smoke. It seems like Team Mongols need to find some turn turning point in this game. Maybe winning a big team fight. Something like this. A heads on the whole team. But nope, he got as one prison man first, dropping it all down, but didn't hit anyone. They lost Lion. Using hard can Doom. And a Doom on Outworld Devourer. But it doesn't matter because Outworld Devourer still have an Aegis. Now aiming for Disruptor first. Bill hit away on the beast Disruptor. Very nice save by Barkrin using his roar to save the Disruptor. Beyond God Lions, a DD call from Aryan Bowler. All about the bad draft, man. The draft is really bad, this one for Mongols. 17 minutes, DG. And it seems like we are going for the third game. Alright. We are going to have. Uh, we're gonna take a break for a few minutes. Then I will just, you know, show you guys some ads, and then we will be back for the third game of the series.